Hello and welcome to the May 2014 Healing Arts Center Practitioner Interview. This month we're hanging out in the garden outside of Kula with Lisa Thomas, who is a Brennan healing science practitioner, and she's here to tell us a little bit more about um, what this type of energy work is and how it may be beneficial for you. Thanks, Lisa. to be part of the Kula, and um, thank you for, for the interview and, and for yeah. welcoming me into the community. Um, Definitely. The community is really important to me, and um, it just feels so great here, and I'm so happy to bring, you know, friends and people I know here, and I'm, to introduce them to the Kula, and um, to introduce people to Brennan Healing Science. Um, Brennan Healing Science is energy work. It, modality that was developed by Dr. Barbara Brennan. She wrote two books, two very well-known books, one called Hands of Light and the other called Light Emerging. And I was fascinated with these books and um, saw a workshop in Jupiter Farms about no five years ago. And so I was lucky enough to attend and how I felt after participating in that workshop and starting to learn a few skills and um, really it was the feeling of the work. It's really sacred, sacred work. Uh, really drew me in. And so I uh, joined the school. It's in Miami. It's a four-year program. Wow. Yeah. And it's wonderful. It's lots of personal growth work and lots of healing energy, healing skills. It sounds pretty amazing. I'm so... Um, so appreciative of the level of time that's required to study. And the four years is pretty astounding because we tend to take things that are abstract, like energy work, and you know, just kind of you know, not not put as much detail and think there's think there's not as much detail when. But it, I know that if you dive into a lot of the subtlety and just my experience in yoga, the more invisible it becomes, the more in-depth it becomes. And the more sophistication is required to truly master it and understand it. And, and so I just really acknowledge you for taking that amount of time to master your craft. And it's pretty remarkable. Can you give people a sense of the work itself in terms of, you know, if I was a client and I was coming to see you, how that may... Play out. Sure. Um, as a client, you would uh, come in. I look. You would lie down on a massage table. You know, you're fully dressed. Mm -hmm. It's light. You know, it's, I usually use light touch. Mm -hmm. And um, it's. I start at your feet and kind of work my way up and work with the chakra system, the chakra okay. energy system. Uh, Brennan work works on the physical, the energetic, the auric and the um, haric, your level of intention, and also um, fluorescence. Mm. So, Is there a psychological component? I know just from studying chakras uh, over the years, um, my yoga teacher training was rooted in chakra psychology, so I was wondering if that ties into this at all. It does. It does because everything is related, but... Um, you know, the healing work, it's really, it's good for, for everything because it starts out by balancing, charging, and clearing and charging your energy system. And then there's a lot of specific things that I can work on with Brennan work. Uh, pre and post surgery is very good for, uh, it's been documented to help people recover from surgery up to 50% faster than, um, than typically. It's so fascinating. So when to incorporate it into it is the word science. So how, mm -hmm. how does the science actually work? I guess that would be a good question. And, um, and then just because it's windy, we speak up a little bit too. I just want to make sure everybody could hear. Okay. Sure. Uh, well, uh, Dr. Brennan was a NASA physicist, and so she is a scientist, and she really studied the energy field in a very scientific way. And so we were actually taught some very specific skills to use uh, 
for example, um, we can do energetic restructuring of organs, um, which is really beneficial. Like I've worked with someone who had um, gallbladder issues mm -hmm. and the ability to, to help restructure and support that organ energetically. Uh, it's amazing. Can really help you know, heal. And you feel that that would work in a complementary way? I'm thinking of like more pranic based modalities like acupuncture, yin yoga, um, those sorts of you know, things that are on the subtler end of the spectrum of healing? Definitely. It's such energy work. It's just so wonderful. It, it goes with everything. It really helps support everything. I've worked with an uh, acupuncturist before and um, you know, with medical doctors and two friends. Mm -hmm. um, it can really it can support any kind of any kind of healing. Really. So the energy is it similar? I guess this would be a common question to you, like to something like Reiki. I know it's more in depth, but I'm thinking of from the standpoint of the energy is not coming from you but through you. Def uh, definitely, in a way, um, you know the universal energy field. So it does flow through. You know, flows through me through my hands. It's hands-on healing. Um, but I have learned how to modulate kind of my energy field. Mm -hmm. For you know, for different reasons. So. And then this would be less on the client end, but just I guess personally, and thinking from a teaching perspective of managing your own boundaries in terms of what you take on um, from people you work with. How do you manage things like that? I'm sure that the training covered that. You know. It really does, and that's really one reason why it's a four-year program. I spent a lot of time working on myself energy work it can be so subtle so it's really important to know what's mine and what's the client and to hold those boundaries. Is it intuitively um, driven in terms of the work itself and where you move your hands? I'm sure it's a combination of mm -hmm. what people present and to you and share with you and what you are able to pick up on more, more of an intuitive nature? It's, um, it's, it's a combination. It's very, it's very intuitive, um, but there's also certain skills that I learn. Mm -hmm. And how long is a session? The session is one hour, about an hour. Okay. And I'm assuming also that it takes more than um, one session to actually receive results, or is it more immediate? Well, you, it kind of rebalances your system, so. You know, you'll definitely feel different the first time, and of course, it always depends on what exactly it is you're coming. You know, you're coming for. Mm -hmm. so it helps some people have a hard time sleeping. You know, they'll have a healing, and it'll be easier for them to sleep. You know, for mm. the next few nights. Um, so it's like really there. So there's an immediate effect, but it can be temporary. So it's a it's kind of a retraining of those habitual patterns. Exactly. People learn to um, run their energy system in a habitual way mm -hmm. from, you know, from our childhood, basically. So when you have a healing, it kind of rebalances your system and um, people get to remember what that feels like. So great. I know it must be rewarding on a personal level to help people in that regard. It's, re it's really very sacred work um, because you know, not only are you working with the physical and the auric, um, but the haric and their uh, divine essence. Right. So beautiful. Thank you so much for doing this today and for being here and part of the, the healing arts team at Kula. And appreciate you being here. All right. Thanks again. Namaste.